Halloween special, black pen, orange pen. Here's the question. I'm going to ask Payam, how many bunnies does he have and how old they are? Okay, he says he has three bunnies and their ages are whole numbers and the product of their ages is 36. Well, unfortunately, based on just this, I cannot figure out their ages because that's just not enough information. Next, he tell me that even though he tells me the sum of the ages, I will still not be able to figure out, okay? Well, in that case, I will just have to ask him, please tell me something more. Finally, he says, okay, his oldest bunny, Oreo, Oreo. is one pound overweight. In fact, based on all this, I'm able to figure out their ages. How can I do that? Be sure you pause the video and give this a try first. Okay, so hopefully you guys have a chance to try this. And in fact, this is a pretty well-known puzzle. And it seems like we still don't have enough information, right? However, I will show you how to break down each and every piece. First of all, Payan has three bunnies and the product of their ages is 36. Therefore, why don't we look at what times what times what will give us 36? And let's just list out all the possibilities and then we'll make some observation, okay? And the way that I'm going to list them out is to first assume that the youngest bunny that we have is just one year old, okay? And we have to look at two more numbers and what times what will give us 36, all right? Because one times these two numbers, all together, they want to be 36. We can, of course, have one times 36 to be, you know, everything, the product is 36, like that. And yes, I know, it's nearly impossible to have a bunny to be 36 years old. But once again, this is just a math question, right? So don't comment anything stupid. Anyway, next, I will still have one as the youngest bunny. And now I just have to break down 36 with two numbers. It's much easier this way. So I will put everything down in a nice order. The next number, I will just put on two and 18. That's 36. And then one, and we have three and 12, right? And then one, four and nine. So far, so good. And then one, six and six. So this right here will still give us 36. What's next? Well, if I put on one, I have one, two, three, four, six already. What's the next factor of 36? If I put on nine, I will have to put on four. One, nine, four. This is the same as one, four, nine, right? Because the, see, the second youngest bunny, instead of putting it down in the middle, it's a third, but you know, they are the same bunny anyway. So we have all the possibilities already if the youngest bunny is just one year old. So this is it. Now, what if the youngest bunny is two years old? So let me put down right here. And now we have to think about two numbers so that they multiply to be 18 because of the two already, right? So we are going to break down 18. And can I put down one and 18? No, because if I put down one, two will not be the youngest bunny. And in fact, if I put down one and 18, this is the same as that combination. So I am not going to put down one 18 here. I'm going to pick something bigger than 2 or equal to 2. In fact, 2 will work. 2 times 2 times 9 will give us a uh, product 36, right? Okay, next. The, if the youngest one is 2, hmm, what can I have? Can I have 3? Sure, because 2 times 3 is 6 already, and then one more, uh, we'll just put on 6. So all together will be 36. And 2 right here. And remember, we are breaking down 18. So 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 6 is 18. We have the 2 already. Well, 4 doesn't work with 18, and then 5 doesn't work. If I put down 6, I will have to put down 3, but that will be the same as that. So no more, right? No more. So this is it, if the youngest one is 2. Next, what if the youngest one is 3? Is that even possible? If we have 3, that means I have to find out two numbers, so they multiply to be? 12, right? Because we have the 3 already. So, let's see. I know that 
I'm not going to put down one. I'm not going to put down two because three is the youngest bunny. I can put down three, right? In that case, I have to put down four. Three times three times four. All together, that's 36. And you can draw all that. And if I do another one times three, and then next, if I put down four, well, three times four is 12, and I have to put down three. So this is the same as that. So we don't have that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, can I have four as the youngest one if, if I put down four? That means I will have to get, well, I have four already. That means I have to get nine right here, right? And the only way to get nine based on this scenario, uh, it's one and nine, nine and one, three and three, but I have all that already. And if I have six, um, still it won't not work, right? And you can try if you would like, but let me tell you, in fact, these are all the possibilities to list out three numbers. They don't have to be different, by the way. So that when you multiply them, we end up with 36, okay? So that's good so far. So we use this already. But it's not enough information because we have a lot of combinations, right? A lot of uh, possibilities. Well, next, Payan told me, he would tell me the sum of the ages, but even though he, if he does that, I will still be stumped. That's see why. Sum of the ages. He didn't mention that though. So let's take a look of the sum of all these things. I will do this in blue, okay? So I'm going to add them up. 1 plus 1 plus 36, that's 38. 1 plus 2 plus 18, this is 21. 1 plus 3, this is 4 plus that is 16. And then 1 plus 9 is 10 plus that is 14. And then 1 plus this is going to be 13. And then this, this, that is going to be 11 plus that is 13. And then this, this, that is going to be 11. And then finally, this, this, that is going to be 10. Okay, so the blue numbers are the sum of the ages. Yes, I used the blue pen again. But anyway, why don't I know, even though he tell me the sum of the ages, why don't I know the ages? When he says that, that means this information, the sum of the ages, are still going to be ambiguous. Well, if you look at all this, I have 13 being repeated twice, and the other numbers are unique. Suppose if Pan told me the sum of the ages is 16, in that case, I will know the youngest bunny is 1, and then the middle one is 3, and then the, the oldest one is going to be 12. Because this is the unique version of Three numbers, when you multiply them, is 36, and when you add them up, is 16. Right? This is unique. But only these two combinations, they are not unique. So we have to keep our focus on either this or that. Right? And we can get rid of all the other choices. Okay? So Pi is smart, I'm smart too. That's good. Unfortunately, I still don't know which one should I uh, pick though. It's either 1, 6, and 6, or 2, 2, and 9. Lastly, Payan says, okay, his oldest bunny, Oreo, is one pound overweight. What does the one pound overweight have to do with anything? No, he's just fat, right, for the Oreo. But he didn't mention that. He has an oldest bunny. He has an oldest bunny. And if you look at this right here, which one's the oldest? No, you don't, because six and six, they are the same age. In that case, you would not say you have an oldest bunny, right? So you're going to get rid of that. You do have the oldest here. Therefore, as you know, as you can see, the ages of the bunnies are 2, 2, and 9. All right? So this is it. Did you figure it out? Or did you like this question? Uh, let me know. All right? So that's it. Happy Halloween. You want this? No? <laughs> you want this? No? You want my finger? Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. She probably wants your finger, but it's not. It's not a good idea for me, huh? But then just see.